Romany Gypsy Tracy Heron is proof that marriage between gypsies and non-travellers can work. Yeah, and then that'll be all opened. Yeah. All balloons and cream all on the walls, all the pictures are coming down. Tracy has been married to her gorgeous husband Phil for nearly ten years. Didn't you have them on your last dress? Lots of diamonds, lots of sparkles. Glitter. Glitter. After a low-key marriage at a registry office, Phil has been saving ever since for the lavish wedding Tracy has longed for. We didn't really have a lot of money at the time when we first got married. So we went to the registry office, had a quick wedding in there, and we sort of always said whenever we do get enough money in that, then we'll do it again properly. So, hence the reason why she's doing it massive. <laughs> Four big stretch hammers we've got. I think you've got 14 bridesmaids in it. Yep. They've got four white horses in a carriage, a big pink carriage. I think every girl dreams of a little like, fairy tale day. I hope everything goes like perfect and I get that day. Despite their successful marriage, their relationship was met with opposition to begin with. It was a little bit hard to start with your dad, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, like my dad. Yeah, because I was in the army at the time and it wasn't a thing that a traveller would do. Yeah, and I thought I was going to get right. hung, strung and quartered. Yeah, so I did, didn't right, I? Then. I was working on the farms and my phone would ring and my brother would be like, who's that on the phone? I'd be like, just a friend. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm so pleased for you. <laughs> I thought you were going to call me Tracy's. <laughs> Tracy isn't the only woman in her family to marry outside the gypsy community. Her cousin Maria also married a non-traveller, but the relationship soon turned sour. To my ex and his family, you know, I was scum of the earth and hadn't done anything wrong. No. Yeah. You know, the spitting at me, the pikey, you know, that, that hurt. Just because we were born and bred in a caravan, yeah. in a trailer, however we'd like to say it. You should be proud of what you yeah. are. I can't, you know, it just, it, it does. It, it brings tears to my eyes because, you know, we're normal. Yeah. They're the ones missing out, not no one else. You're worth a million to them. <laughs> Bless you, right? Yeah. Bless you. With just 11 days to go until Tracy's wedding, there is some good news at last. A delivery has arrived all the way from China. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, it feels like Christmas. Mummy, I found it. OK, Rachel, she's 41 inches. Oh! I'll snap the yam hang off. One, two, three, four, five. Right up until seven o'clock this morning, we were still phoning. I'm not really getting any answers, but I'm pleased now they're all here. It's a big weight off everyone's shoulders now. Yeah. Just when things are looking up, Tracy notices there's a problem with the bridesmaid dresses. In the boxes, have any of their sashes in there, Mum? What's sashes? The little ones are supposed to have a big sash of ivory and in a massive bow that hits the floor. No. The bankrupt wedding planner has failed to pay for the complete order. I'd like to get hold of her. Get hold of her, pull her wig right off her head. Been paid for once, why should we have to keep paying twice on everything? I'm going to have to order it tomorrow. Yeah. And again, I'm all work. Next week, okay then. All right. All right then. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye. Well, no. I said I'm not. We're not paying for them again. She's sending them. She's getting them made, and they'll be here next week. What well, should we have to pay for them again? It's right though, isn't it? Don't. I'm losing my temper now. That's nice. Yeah. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Ten years after a low-key wedding. Romany Gypsy Tracy is renewing her vows and having the lavish celebration she always dreamed of. Nothing ever goes planned, does it? As long as we're all in church on time, we're getting there. There are 14 bridesmaids needing a full makeover. Have fun, love you all. <laughs> I've still got quite a few left, but I'm trying to go as quick as I can to get it done. Just keep calm. <laughs> Not everyone is aware of the tight schedule. Bend it, bend it, Megan, because I don't like that at the minute. It's looking too outwards, yeah, bend it right in, that's it. 
And Megan, you know those bits here? Can you poke them up a bit as well? Megan, you know that bit there that yeah. curls and goes there? Can you bring um, that like out a bit? Um, yeah. Yeah, but just tell them at the end of the day, yeah? Just tell them just to get their hair done and be back here for 11 o'clock. Yeah, tell them don't start messing around. Don't panic, OK? Box, All right, love you, bye-bye. Right. Fuck's sake. Fucking boys, mate. Put it up. No, no, put it up. Put it back. Back in Canterbury, there's half an hour to go before Tracy's wedding ceremony begins. Just trying to breathe and... Just trying to enjoy every bit now. Come on, darling. As the 15 bridesmaids make their way to Tracy's house, news of the wedding has quickly spread through the neighbourhood. Over at the in-laws, Phil's plans for a perfect white and pink themed wedding are in jeopardy. It's a, fuck, it's a fucking black one. I ordered a white one. Two was supposed to be white, one was supposed to look like a creamy goldy colour, and the other one was a pink one. Don't tell me that's black. It's a black one. Oh shit. Not unless I'm fucking colour blind. <laughs> Oh dear. Well, you can't do the fucking piss or what? <laughs> oh, I've all this to come. Oh. <gasps> Mum? Yeah? Dad Thomas at the house, yeah, but it's a white, it's a black one, not a white one. What do you mean it's a black one? She said, what do you mean it's a black one? So exactly what he says, it's a black one. Well, they know it should be white. Well, they know it should be white, she said. <gasps> That's naughty. Is he all right? swearing. So we've got a black hammer. Great. Listen, we look like the 18. Fucking 18? Fucking joke. What happened to the white one? Well, they didn't phone you at all? No. <laughs> Despite her wedding planner going bankrupt, lost dresses, and a wrong coloured limo. Tracy is finally getting the extravagant wedding she has always craved. Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? Tracy, you have committed yourselves to each other in marriage, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till parted by death. Is this your understanding of the covenant and promise that you have made? A bit louder? Yes. It is. Yes. Thank it you. Is. <laughs> You're beautiful. Get a drunk later on now, can't we? <laughs> <laughs> It's a rare occasion when gypsies and gorgeous celebrate side by side, but today they've come together for Tracy and Phil. Oh, it's amazing, it's that my fairy tale dream that was come to. Although this union has proved that a mixed marriage can work. There is still some division among Tracy's family about the two cultures coming together. 
I think they should keep to their own kind to make obviously the family tradition going. Because obviously how I think and feel of it all is that the tradition ain't going to carry on going. It's going to fade and fade away. My personal thing is that you should keep your family to your family and that you shouldn't mix with anyone. I married a Gorgia, but I wouldn't marry a traveller. And I wouldn't, because I want my marriage to work and not be a few years of either beating or a divorce down the line. What woman wants to put herself through having slaps? Because I wouldn't. I mean, my husband even dreamed to beat me. I said, I'll kill him. <laughs> I'll beat him while he's sleeping. <laughs> I'll execute him in the bath after. <laughs> While the joining of gypsies and non-travellers is still considered unthinkable by many, a happy marriage like Tracy and Phil's is achievable. How does this compare to your first time? Because a hundred times better, isn't it? Oh, Wouldn't change one single little bit. I would. What? The black hummer that I got. Oh. I've been pissed off about that all day. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>